Hi, Anita. And Hamid. Hi, too. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, we're going to take a look through um, 20 North Primrose. Um, oddly enough, the numbers don't really go in order on the street, so this is much further down than you would think it is um, from 13 North Primrose. Um, this is a corner lot, um, quite large. It's got full-grown trees, as you can see. Um, it does have a nice little walkway with um, pebbles and some stepping stones. Um, that leads to the front door. Um, now, I do want to point out a couple things that I've noticed so far. Um, I did a preliminary walkthrough. Um, the first thing is that there's pretty substantial wood rot right here around the front door. Um, so that is something that would have to be addressed. Um, and you'd also want it checked. Now, entering inside the house, um, you walk into this living room. Um, it is, I mean, it's a decent sized living room. Um, it's not, um, it's not bad. Um, the carpeting is uh, shag carpeting. Um, it is in, I don't know if you could tell, but it's in pretty, it's in pretty bad shape. Um, so it would definitely be something you'd want to replace. Um, there is a coat closet here, double doors, so ample enough room for that. If you head straight through this room, um, you go in, you come into the kitchen. Um, again, this is, um, this looks to be all original. Um, you can see, um, that it's just, it's in pretty bad shape. Um, as far as aesthetic wise, um, you would need to, um, redo this whole thing. I'm, I'm not sure if it's showing on the video from what I can see. Um, it looks like it's not showing. There's a ton of yellowing up there on the ceiling. Um, but in the video, it seems to be showing as white. Um, the cabinet tree, um, it is solid wood, um, but not in the greatest of condition and, and certainly not very sturdy. Um, there is baseboards with the electric, um, same as the other house. It has the individual thermostats in each room. Um, we're going to start going to the right a little bit. Um, the other thing to take note of is that it's all wall units in this house. Um, so there is no central air. Um, this is a small pantry closet. Um, again, not in the best shape. Um, definitely in need of some work. Um, you could see there's some missing pieces on the floor. Um, I do not believe this to be wood. It's some kind of uh, laminate tile. This um, is linoleum. Um, there's the. This is a single vanity. Okay, so this is the main house, uh, the main bathroom for the house um, that would be used by guests. Um, Walk-in shower, newer shower head, um, shower stall itself. Um, showing its age, again, I'm not too sure the video, um, shows the staining, um, but it will definitely need, um, you know, some work, some little elbow grease. Um, same thing here with the sink and the mirror. Um, everything is, um, showing its age. Um, when you come in this doorway right here leads out to the garage, um, which we'll go check out in a second. So this is like you walk into like a mud room slash, looks like they may have been using it as an office, 
This could be a secondary living space. Um, not very big. Um, and then this is the slider out to the glass door, um, which is showing its age. Um, doesn't open very easily. So you step out and um, this is the back. So it's a corner lot. So this driveway is actually on the other street. You can see it does have ample parking. Um, and you'll see there's room to park in the garage as well in this property. Um, don't know where the property line is here. I, I'm thinking if you can see that um, end of that fence um, in the other yard is probably what I'm thinking is the property line here, but there's no stakes or anything. Um, the deck um, is also showing its age. Um, there are there are some rotting boards. Um, there's one here. Um, there's also one right there. It almost looks like it could be, I mean, I'm no expert, but it almost looks like it could be some termite damage. Um, it does not feel very sturdy in some spots to walk on. Um, so this is the other sliding door that goes into the kitchen. And we'll head back inside. So there's two accesses to the patio. One is through the kitchen and one is through this um, little entry area. Um, I, I, I do have to, I feel I would be remiss if I did not mention the smell in this house. Um, they're trying to cover it up with something, um, but it does not smell very nice in here. Um, so this is the entryway to the garage. It does have a screen door. Um, it's an oversized garage, certainly not big enough for two cars. Um, and this is also where your attic pull down is. Um, now this is the washing machine in the house, um, on this side. And then if we pan over, um, I don't know if the John Deere is coming with the house. We'd have to check that. Um, that's the dryer on the other side of the garage. Um, there is a garage door opener. Um, and that looks to be the only way in and out of the garage. There's no handle on the outside door. Um, here is also where your electric panel is. And now we'll head back in. Go we'll take a look at the other side of the house. Um... Sorry. So, again, so this is how you would come in through the garage, um, which seems to be the access that they would have been using mostly. Um, right here, <clears throat> you have the first of the three bedrooms. Um, it is a nice size room. There is, uh, there's a couple of holes in the walls, so there's a, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, there's a pretty substantial hole there and um, a nice um, damaged spot right there. The windows um, are not original. They are newer, um, but they are, there is some age to them as well. Um, they don't appear to be double paned, so they... Um, you know, they, they may not be very energy efficient. Um, again, like we mentioned, you've got the um, individual controls for the baseboard. This was the bathroom that we looked at earlier. Um, and you come through, this is the living room where we came in through the first time. The other thing that I'm noticing I want to point out is there's a lot of this going on separation on moldings and things like that just showing its age um, up there 
There's some separation between the molding and the ceiling. Um, so this kitchen, though, it is a nice size. Um, it could certainly reworked. It could be a, a, a beautiful space. So very large eat-in area for sure. With the amount of space in here, you could put an island in. Um, you know, with some renovations, I mean, this could be probably a great space in here. Now, this is bedroom number two. Um, there is the first of the wall units, I mean the window units. Um, the smell is very bad in this room. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to stay in here very long. Um, that carpeting um, has some very large stains on it, um, which is what I'm assuming the smell is coming from. Um, and now in here, um, so there is no, there is no um, owner suite per se. Um, but I would assume this is going to be considered the owner suite, and I'll, I'll show you why. So this is like a little vanity area. Um, there is nice built-in shelves and drawers. Um, and then here is the walk-in closet. Um, here the carpet is newer. It's not shag. But again, there's some pretty substantial um, stains. Possibly could have been an animal, like a dog maybe. Um, but it's a nice size walk-in closet in this, in this area right here. It kind of makes a little turn to go to that side. Um, that door right there would be your access to a shower, which is right next door. So... This is the bathroom. This is a double vanity here. Um, a little window out the side. Mirror on the wall. But you can see this is like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Um, and it's got the same, it's got linoleum floors. Um, it's got the shower inserts. Um, this one's clean, just shows its age. Um, newer shower head. Um, there's some. There's a concerning spot in front of this baseboard. Um, we would have to do a home inspection, and um, for this house in particular, I don't think we would um, waive any contingencies like we did on the last one, um, because this doesn't look as well maintained as the other house did. Um, now, and so this is the connecting bedroom to that um, other room. So as you can see, there's no real, per se, owner suite, but you could close this door off um, and only make this bathroom accessible to the other bedroom, which would give you a true owner suite. This bedroom is in the back of the house. It's smaller than the other bedrooms. Um, but you could still fit a queen size bed and some furniture in here easily. Um, and then this is just a closet. They're, they're storing the screen door in here, but that's just a, a closet. The floors in this room um, probably are the, um, the vinyl plank flooring, uh, not the updated version. Um, these are, these are like probably linoleum squares in here that look like wood. Again, just point out it does show its age in this part of the floor. Let's see if I could get out of the sun. You can see it. So there's some wear in the floor right there. Um, same kind of wear pattern over here. Um, so that's about it. That's, that's a look at the house. Um, I do believe that this one would need, um, immediate before I think you could even stay here, um, would be to tear up all this flooring. Um, the concern being that if those stains in the other bedroom are animal, you might even have to rip up sub flooring in there, but that's, you know, that's not my area of expertise. Um, so that's it. Um, interestingly enough, 
I, I would like to point out the fact that there is no oven. Um, so you just have a cooktop, but no oven. So um, that would be something to consider. Um, and I think that's it. That's, uh, that's the walk through the house. Um, I'm going to go for now. Um, and um, you let me know what you think after you see it. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.